This is the best defense in Madden 23. If you want a defense that shuts down any run play, no. or a blitz that gets so much instant pressure your opponent won't be able to complete a pass, all in one easy to set up defense, shown in an exciting gameplay that goes down to the last drive, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The offensive and defense that I'm going to be using again today is going to be my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook and my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook. These are the only two playbooks that I'm using right now, although I did just drop a 49ers offensive ebook, and I do Woo! plan on making some videos about them in the future. Hit the like button, let me know in the comments section if you guys want to see that. The team I'm using today is a team that you guys requested me to use in my last uh, gameplay video where I asked you guys what team you wanted me to use, and I got the most requests for the Giants. So even though I really, I'm an Eagles fan and I absolutely hate the Giants, let me know in the comment section what team you would like me to use next, but please pick a different team a little bit better than the Giants. So going through this roster, I really am just looking for speed. I'm just making sure that I have speed in the right places for the blitz that I'm going to set up. Luckily, this team does have some very fast outside linebackers. 286 overall speed outside linebackers is really all that I need to run defense that I'm going to run today. When I get into the game, sure enough, I'm playing against my own favorite team, the Eagles. Let me know in the comment section how your team did week one. I know the Eagles couldn't have had much better of a day. They got to win. The offense looked great. On the offensive side, I'm still using the gun stack wide flex. If you guys have seen this in a previous video, I do plan on doing a full breakdown of this offense in a future video so hit the like button in the comment section you guys will see that but this particular route here all you have to do is streak this y route and this b route gets open against just about any single defense in the game as you can see i beat that up for about a 26 yard gain on this next play i attempted the running back out of the back foot on a swing route if i throw it right now it's wide open but i'm not used to using danny dimes so by the time i do throw the ball it was at this moment that he knew he f up. That ball takes so long to get there, it gets picked off, and it's going the other way. So my opponent gets a very easy pick six from the computer. Damn it! Because I just overestimated the power of the throwing arm of Daniel Jones. That's okay, though, because I promise you that will be the only touchdown that he scores today. On the offensive side, the other way, going right back to that corner strike. As you see, we're getting open again. I overused this play just a little bit. I mean, he's wide open, even with this cover four, but I still can't thread the needle with Danny Dimes. What? Boom! Danny Dimes is going to be a huge problem today. Then on the next play, I mean, it's third and nine, but he gives me the lane up the middle, so I take it. On fourth and three from the 42, I don't think I can really kick a field goal from here. I don't even know who the Giants kicker is. So we're going to go for it. We go for that inside run one more time, nope. but there's nothing there. I mean, this Giants offensive line is terrible. So on the defensive side, the first play I'm going to use is my cover four quarters run defense because my opponent is in a pistol formation. Anytime I see pistol formations, I'm thinking run. This is not what the video is about today, but I did just break this defense down. So if you guys want to see that, I have a link in the description. It's an absolutely shut down run defense. <laughs> Your ass down. The defense that this video is about today, though, is my even 6-1. This is a formation that I've put out multiple videos from since it was added to Madden back in Madden 20. The play that I'm going to show you guys today is the Sam Will Blitz. This play here, I forgot about entirely until one of my subscribers in the comment section told me how good this play was from one of my previous setups in previous years. The setup hasn't changed at all. The setup is super simple. All you're going to do is pinch your defensive line, which is going to be D-pad to the left and down. Then you can hit the D-pad to the left again to bring up your defensive line adjustments and then up on the right stick to slant them outside. The last thing you have to do is blitz your user middle linebacker, which is going to be, I mean, sometimes I just blitz all, which is going to be D-pad to the right and down. It's just quicker. Or you can blitz him individually. Then you want to hover the gap pre-snap. You just want to come down over the center. This is going to be good for run defense, but it's also going to help out the blitz. So I've seen people do this setup without pinching the defense and without taking away this inside gap. And trust me, if you don't do that, you're just going to get gashed in run plays. That's why you have to do that particular setup. The last step, and this is only really if you expect a pass play, if you really want to get this pressure and quick is you got to guess pass which is going to be hitting the rbr1 button then up on the right stick this will make the blitz come in a lot faster any play actions or anything like that they won't go after the running back they'll just go straight for the quarterback and you'll get a lot more sacks that way so all i have to do is hover this gap for a second and then drop back the instant pressure you get from these outside linebackers the faster the outside linebackers the better i mean there's teams that have like 90 speed outside linebackers this big defense becomes an absolute nightmare if you're running a defense with 90 plus outside linebacker speed 
On the next play, you can see we get some pretty good coverage. I mean, he does get the ball off quickly. He's probably for the best because if he didn't, he would have been sacked instantly. Then on fourth and seven, my opponent's going to go for it. My opponent goes for it a lot. He tries to loft that up against what wasn't really even an open receiver, to be honest with you. Yeah. And we're getting the ball back inside the 50. So on the offensive side, we're going to go. We're going to hit it with some run plays. This is a run play that I just put out yesterday. Although with this porous offensive line, we're not going to have nearly as much success. I'm going to go to what's one of my favorite pass plays, the Saints drags. This is something that I put out in previous gameplay as well. I'll have links in the description for all the information you guys need supporting these plays. But this Y route here gets open against everything. It really shouldn't. I had an under pressure throw there because once again, my offensive line sucks. I probably would have had a touchdown but we still get inside the red zone. Then I'm going to go with the Saints fork. This is one of my money plays in the red zone. This is something anytime I have a big third down like I have here, third and goal, I'm going to bring this play out. And on the next play, I probably going to hit that RB route. I just wasn't feeling it. I just didn't want to throw an interception. So we just take the sack. And we're going to kick the field goal. Back on the defensive side, my opponent is making adjustments at the line like he's Peyton Manning. trying to pick up this blitz and it's not having a ton of success we're shutting down this drag once again the pressure gets in causes a bad throw <laughs> on the next play though we get the double pressure off of both sides with both linebackers meeting at the quarterback he does figure out a decent way to pick up this blitz he rotates his running back over blocks the tight end blocks the running back and it does a pretty good job of picking that up you can see right here he does get the first down but even that is pretty spotty throughout the game as you'll notice on the next play, he goes to throw it to the flat here, and I go for the ball. I'm trying to get an interception, which is pretty much what I try to do every single time, and I give up a huge play doing that, so I probably should have just went for the tackle. A lot of people will try to work the running back because it's a one-on-one. -on -one. As long as you're a safe tackler, that's not an issue. Get over here! We shut that down. On the next play, he's going to go empty backfield, which is definitely not a good look. The pressure is instant, forcing, a, forcing another bad... <laughs> Then on third and ten, like I say, he does that setup one more time, but you're going to see this time it doesn't work out. There's nothing really reliable to pick up the blitz because ultimately tight ends and running backs don't do a very good job when it comes to blocking. Forces him up the middle here and he gets an instant sack and he's got to kick a field goal. So we're down seven. We try to run the ball because he's coming out and these spread defenses giving me huge holes and it's still not working out. Nope. I don't really know what's worse on the Giants, the quarterback or the offensive line. I'm constantly in third and long situations. So in third and 10, we have to pass again. Luckily, this play is just money. At the end of the day, I can't overuse these plays or my opponent's going to start picking up on them. Trying to run the ball, though, is pretty much impossible. I mean, the only real rushing yards that I got were fall forward animations like these two plays here as I get stopped. I go back to the drive H wheel, and if you sling that ball out quick to the running back, you'll get open for big catch and runs, even against man coverage. The problem is I just had to adjust for Danny Dimes' arm strength, or else I never would have threw that first pick six. We're going right back to that corner strike concept, and we're dotting it up right at the two-yard line. You got more. With a very good catch. But then Danny Dimes reappears as I throw an interception on the goal line. <laughs> in the second half sure enough he is running the ball again and not having a lot of success because like i said this is a very good run defense there's no real inside run lanes or outside run lanes but based on the fact that he's gonna be running a lot i'm gonna switch over to my cover four quarters because this is definitely my number one run defense so if he's gonna run the ball he's gonna go against my number one run defense on second and eight though he clearly is not running the ball as he motions out the running back so maybe he just wanted to get me out of that formation that's how it feels so third and inches we try to shut him down with this and sure enough we will this is the best run defense in the game so fourth and one he's going into a hurry up this time we're going to send everybody if i should have noticed that audible right there as he checks out of it Psych. and goes into a pass to the tight end slash fullback and gets an easy first down i really didn't need to blitz anybody everybody anyway but you can see once again this run defense is shut down the next play we stop him for a three yard loss and sure enough he's passing on the very next down and i'm not doing a very good job of taking away these underneath routes so in the next play, I hard flat on third and three because we're not trying to give up anything short on this down. And sure enough, there's nothing really open. He tries to throw it up, but I don't know who he was really throwing to. His receiver wasn't even there. And Jalen Hurts is doing his best Danny Dimes impression as he's going the other way with an interception. On the offensive side, the offensive line is still a bit of an issue. What? We're going to go right back to that corner strike concept, though. Give ourselves a little bit of a dragging check down. And you can see that X route is open every single time as we thread that needle. Now, on the next play, like I said, if you whip this ball out, you can get 10 yards plus every single time to that running back. Really doesn't matter what defense it is. It's an absolute glitch. Then on second and seven, I guess I use my money play a little bit too much because he starts user covering this route with the safety. I guess he realizes nothing else is really covered and starts to do it himself. And it results in a sack. So on third and 12, I got to go to my third down money play one more time. He knows exactly where I'm going, though, so he covers it with the safety again but then he leaves the half of the field open And we make a gorgeous one play touchdown that really wasn't planned before the snap. So we tie up the game on the defensive side one more time. Like I said, if you're going to throw it out to the running back, bring that ass here. 
here, boy. I'm gonna be there. Next play, the pressure's still getting in instantly. And he's in a third and 14 just like that. He tries to go to that setup again one more time where he motions over the running back, blocks the tight end. Like I say, he's had a lot of success with this. It just doesn't work out as the throw is just outside of the receiver. <laughs> He's going for it on 4th and 14 inside of his own 20, which is kind of a weird call, but I guess I can understand it. Does that set up one more time to try to pick up this outside pressure? It gets through enough. No! And we bat the ball down. We're getting ball. We're going right back to this flat. You can see right there, even with hard flats, which I'm sure what he had on, we still get a 9-yard catch and run. On 2nd and 1, though, all I got to do is pick up a yard. We go with the halfback wham, and we get whammed at the line of scrimmage. Nope. So on 3rd inches, we go for with a quarterback sneak. And Danny Dimes fumbles it. Which team do you play for? I should have known better. I should have started Tyrod Taylor, to be honest with you. I mean, this dude is absolute trash. On the defensive side, he's starting to pick apart that cover zero a little bit with short, quick <gasps> routes. And he's moving right down the field. Here, he just beats me with a speed out route to the tight end. <gasps> And now in the waning moments, he's having a lot of success. So we switch up to a cover four, just basically trying to give him something different, make him think that it's still that man coverage. Although I didn't hard flat, which was the mistake. And he beats me up underneath, getting to the 39-yard line. I'm pretty sure that he could kick a field goal from here. So we got to go back to the pressure, try to get a sack. You can see that the man alignment in this is terrible. So I have to spend half the pre-snap play setting that up. And by the time the play starts, I'm stuck on a defensive tackle, which ultimately is going to end the game. Because now he's inside a field goal range for sure and I don't have the ability to stop the clock enough as he's just going to basically take this clock down to zero and kick a field goal on me. I try to let him score but, he, but he's too smart for that so he's going to basically just take some knees and we're riding the L train but I got to be honest with you I don't know if I blame myself I definitely blame you guys for telling me to use the Giants and I definitely blame Danny Dimes and the Giants offensive line. This is a horrible team. It's a very hard team to win with. But I still wanted to show this video because my opponent never scored an offensive touchdown against this particular defense. So try this defense out. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more defensive videos like this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, I'll have another defensive video popping up on the screen right now. If you guys want to add that to your arsenal, make sure to check that out. I'm sure it'll help out your game as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Mush it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below